Hello, I'm Patty Kay, and this is the U-Shaped Business Show. Our topic today is prompted by a question that I received uh, a couple of weeks ago, and somebody asked me, Patty, do I really need a website? <laughs> uh, you know, and then she said, well, you know, everybody's on social media these days and nobody goes to websites anymore and nobody reads stuff anymore. And in that moment, I'm like, OK, I'm going to bet two things here. Uh, thing number one, you've just been on a free webinar uh, talking about how to uh, market your business through social media. And part two, you really want to avoid the time and expense involved in creating a new website. Uh, right? Uh, so here's the thing. Um, I was actually having a, co a conversation with a colleague about this last night, about how often we are given these yes and no questions where the answer requires a little bit more information. So. Um, like a lot of these yes and no questions, the correct answer is it depends. It depends on the kind of business that you're in. It depends on the kinds of clients you work with. It depends on a lot of things. There's some context here. So what I want to do is start with talking about um, what your website actually does, because it's surprising to me that a lot of people haven't really caught on to what exactly um, a website is all about. Um, so let's start by looking at the role that your website plays in your business. And I'm going to um, use this opportunity to uh, bring the adorable Brody <laughs> into this discussion. So here's what Brody does. When we're in the kitchen and we're making food, Brody kind of wanders around in between our feet. If you have a pet, you've probably experienced this. And he's way down on the ground because he's just a little guy. And every once in a while, yes, something goes flying off the counter and he's like, score. Uh, and one day I said to Joe, I said, you know, from his perspective, like way down on there, there on the floor looking up, it's like it's, like it's raining down food from the sky. It's like sky food. Uh, so now every time he gets a little treat off the counter, we're like, oh, Brody got some sky food. Um, and <laughs> what does this have to do with websites? Well, a lot of people think that the purpose of having a website is to get the equivalent of sky food for your business. Uh, clients that just show up out of nowhere through the magic of the internets, they find you through Google, they land on your site, and yay, uh, you've got new business. And that's an awesome thing when it happens. And it, and it can happen. It's happened to me. It's happened to my clients. It definitely ha happens. Happens to Brody. He gets the sky food. Um, but the thing is, um, a little Brody would be much smaller. He'd be a pretty skinny assistant if um, he relied on that sky food as his main diet. And the thing is, with a website, a website... Yes, it can send you the odd treat of sky food, but that's not the primary role of a website. And if that's all you're looking at, and if that's all you're thinking about getting a website for is for the occasional bit of sky food treat, then uh, yeah, you probably don't need one. It's probably not your best, uh, best place for, for you to be investing money. However, for those of us who are self-employed professionals, you do work with clients, your website plays a very different role from what it plays for Amazon.com or uh, people who sell widgets online. It's, it, your website is actually a sales partner. That's where your website really shines. And what it does is it gives people a risk-free way to learn more about your business. And the people that you're creating your website for are not the visitors from, from Google. They're not the people who don't read. They're not the people who aren't interested. You're creating your website for the people who will be your next clients, that small percentage of people who are going to decide to work with you. So I have a little picture of a shark on here because when people are interested in learning more about your services, they don't want to call somebody up and get a sales pitch. Um, and whether or not you see yourself as a shark, that's how they see you, is calling you or contacting you directly, taking you up on your free session or your free offer or whatever it is that you're offering, feels very much like walking into a sales call, is um, shark infect infested waters, and most people don't want to do that. So instead, what they do when they are interested in working with you is they visit your site first. 
And here's when those people visit your site. After somebody refers them to you, they, somebody, a, a, a client or colleague says, hey, you need to work with this person. And what that person does is they go to your website. That's the first step. They go and see your website. Second, if they hear you speak, if you do a speaking event, if you do a webinar, um, even just uh, uh, meeting people at a networking event, they have some interest, but they're not ready to engage you in an actual call yet. Um, so they'll go to your website or if you're posting things on social media, if you're running advertisements, they hear a little bit about you. They've got a little bit of interest. And the next thing they do is visit your site. <laughs> I've been talking to a client a couple of years ago and she was absolutely dismayed that she was sitting across the table from somebody and that person wanted her website information, wanted to look at her website. And, and she was like, I'm right here. Ask me anything. And they're like, well, I need to see your website. Uh, and, and that's what happens is that um, is that people want to do their research and they want to go to your website when they're making a consideration for buying. So let me just give you a really, really uh, specific example of exactly how this works. Now, a few years ago, I did the I, I wrote the website content for a business coach colleague of mine and uh, let's just call him Bob <laughs> to make this this story easy to, easier to relate. And um, yes, I wrote the website content for somebody who's technically a competitor of mine. Uh, yeah. Anyhow, <laughs> I wrote his his um, his content for his website, and then um, about a year ago, I guess, he contacted me. He says, "You know what, Patty?" He says, "I've got this new client, and their website, yeah, it needs some work." And I have recommended that they talk to you. What they need is they need the exact same treatment that you gave me, which was to interview him. Um, to learn about his business and then to to write the content for his website in a client centered way. He says they need what what um, what you did for me. So I made an appointment to go and visit with his clients, the referral business that I got. Now, keep in mind, they haven't hired me. This is technically a sales con what I would call a sales conversation. I went in to see them uh, to, to see if they were interested in hiring me. And when I was explaining to them the importance of content on a website, they were like, yeah, we get it. We know exactly what you mean because that's how we hired Bob. And I'm like, oh, tell me more. Tell me more about how you made this decision. And then they told me, now this is insight into how your clients are, are making a purchasing decision. They decided that they needed a business coach. So these are the exact kind of clients that you want. And I say business coach. It could be wellness practitioner. It could be consultant. It could be trainer. It could be freelancers, whatever it is that you're offering. Here's a glance inside the head of somebody who is ready to buy that service. So they said, yeah, we decided we need someone. So we asked some colleagues for referrals. So they got some referrals. And we did a couple of searches on Google. And we looked at the websites. And we narrowed it down to three candidates that we thought were the best. So recap, they did some searching. They have some names. They narrowed down their decision through the websites. They have not talked to any of these people yet. So he says, we sat down here Friday night and we had three, three coaches up on three different tabs. And we had a glass of wine and we went back and forth tab to tab to tab to make a decision to decide who we were going to call. So one of the people, they didn't actually say a lot. They, you know, they had some words on their site and they had a video and all that, but there wasn't a lot of information to go on. So there was like, okay, they're out. Um, another one uh, was, you know, had a pretty fancy site, but all she did was talk about herself and her credentials and how great she was and her process and exactly what she would do and how she worked and all of that. Um, but Bob, Bob's site was all about us. It was like he was in our heads. And I get that a lot um, from people. It's like that he was inside our heads. He understand he understood the situation we were in and what we were after. And we really, really got a clear message that he could help us. So that's who we called. Now, here's the thing to really take away from this story. And this is not, um, this is not like an outliers kind of a story. There's research that's been done that show that 80% of people do online research before they make a decision. 
Uh, and what they're doing, you know, online research is another way of saying they're checking out people's websites. Um, so the big takeaways from this little story is that without a website, um, whoever it was was out of consideration, even if they had gotten the name and a phone number from one of the people that they asked for a referral. No website, not even in the running. Uh, secondly, the short list of three was decided by a website. They did not contact anybody before they finally contacted Bob and all they needed to do there was confirm a decision that they had already made. Uh, so the people, like, can you imagine, there's two business coaches out there that were under serious consideration. They were the other tabs in this situation. And uh, they have no idea that they missed out on business because of the state of their website. Uh, so the thing to keep in mind here too, is that it's the words on the site that made the difference. This was not about stunning graphic design. It wasn't about a glamorous photo shoot. Bob has neither. Um, his website is modern, it's responsive, but let's just say it when So when you ask yourself if, if you need a website, think about this. It's like, you know, which tab are you? If you are competing, your business being, you know, in a competition, tab versus tab versus tab with your, with your, uh, your competition, uh, who, who do you want to be? So to answer the question of do you need a website, my, my um, honest answer is not necessarily. Not everybody needs a website. Uh, if you're fully booked, if you've got more clients than you can handle, you don't need a website. A website isn't about showing off for your colleagues and go, ooh, look, I got a really cool website. Um, my dog groomer does not need a website. It's hard to get an appointment with her. Uh, she's not taking on new clients. A website, all that's going to do is get her more annoying phone calls that she doesn't have time to deal with. So not um, necessary. Now, if you're brand new in business, if you're just starting out and you don't have any clients and you don't have a lot of money to invest, then my advice would be to skip the website for now and go out and talk to people. Get your first clients through one-on-one -on -one conversation. When you do that, you will um, get the information that you need in order to create a really good website and to get some really good words on that site. But other than that, yes, yeah, you absolutely need a website because of this tab situation that we're talking about. And when you consider a website, what you want to look at are the words, words, words. And here's the, the part where you can save some money. Uh, you don't need something super fancy, especially if you're just starting out. Um, and if you don't have a big budget, you can skip the custom graphic design stuff. You can skip the fancy photo shoot. That isn't going to make the big difference. Um, and you certainly don't need any kind of a sophisticated online automated funnel system because we're talking about self-employed professionals here. If you're selling online widgets or something like that, different story. Uh, but for getting clients, uh, what's really important are the words. So as long as you have a site that's modern and it's responsive, it looks uh, reasonably professional, and you do a really good job of explaining your services in client-centered language, you can get away with one of those uh, do-it-yourself website builders, you know, kind of do it yourself or um, hire someone to, to create a really simple WordPress site uh, for you with, a, with a, a template in order to get started. And then once your business really takes off, you can choose to invest in the Fancy Pants branding or not. <laughs> the business uh, coach client that I was talking about has a s extremely uh, successful practice with a very basic website. So, um, and just one word here before I wrap up, a bad website is worse than no website at all. So if your website is out of date, it's, if it's promoting something you no longer offer, um, if it uh, really doesn't uh, convey your awesomeness, it can really hurt your credibility and it can take you out of the running. You can be one of those discarded tabs really quickly, even if you are a great fit. So if you're thinking about, uh, if you're putting off redoing your website and you're kind of getting by with something that's not so great, uh, take a look at the words. Like that's the quick fix for this is to fix up the words. So if you need any help with that, um, hey, here's me. Um, this is my specialty to help with words and messaging. And you can get help with that for like as little as 10 or 20 bucks because I cover it all in my book. I've also got a super affordable 
uh, course that you can take, you can get that through my website and it'll walk you through creating all this content and um, getting your website um, to be your 24 seven sales and marketing partner, or you can hire me to just look after it all for you. <laughs> so you can visit my site at pattyk.com to get more details and have yourself a fabulous day. And I will see you back here next time. Bye for now.